Very good morning to you and welcome to the Morning Outlook Report. I'm Rachel Jones reporting live from Kalkine TV Sydney Studios. Now, the Australian share market is expected to end the week with a marginal gain. According to the latest SPY futures, the ASX 200 is expected to open 0.6% higher on Friday morning. At the closing bell yesterday, the S&P ASX 200 was 3% lower or 215 points lower at 6,991. All the sectors closed in the red. The sector with the fewest losses was utilities, down 0.8%. The worst performing sector was the tech sector, down 6.4%. The best performing stock yesterday was the Simic Group. Their shares closed 33.4% higher at $22. The worst performing stock was Live360. Their shares closed 28.8% lower at $4.68. Looking to some business news from this morning and the Charter Hall Group have reported that they've tripled their profit for the second half of 2021 to $517.8 million from $173.2 million in the second half of 2020 and doubled their operating earnings to $263.9 million. Revenues jumped to $566 million from $248.3 million. Funds under management climbed to around $79 billion from around $52 billion. The company will pay an interim dividend of 8.33 cents as stable security for the six months ending December 2021. Moving on, and points spent double gross profits to $54.7 million in the first half of financial year 2022, from $25.6 million in the first half of the previous year. Net revenues rose to $139.1 million from $75.1 million. Strategy EBITDA recorded a loss of $130.6 million, higher than the $71.3 million for the first half of last year. And Harvey Norman today announced that profit before tax for the half year ending 31st of December 2021 was $612.24 million, a decrease of $31.67 million or a loss of 4.9% from the PPT result of $643.91 million for the half year 2021. Australian franchises advanced, but Ireland recorded negative 0.1% sales performance in the half year to date. The company will pay an interim dividend of 20 cents a share, fully franked, on the 2nd of May. Later today, we're looking to see the results from Adbri, Oswide Bank, Block, Brambles, Gemworth and Medibank. They're just a few of the ASX listed companies scheduled to announce their earnings later today. We'll bring you these results as soon as we get them. Now it's time for a very short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect the trading day. Hi there, James Preston for Calkine TV. Are you into gaming and virtual reality? Does AI and the endless possibilities it entails capture your interest? Or are you constantly trawling through the web to try and discover the latest updates and innovations in the tech space? Well, let us do the work for you. From the latest product launches to shocking affairs on the World Wide Web, exclusive interviews and information about the top companies like Apple and Google to brand new tech startups vying for your attention. Calkind's Tech Beat has the latest in what matters in the world of technology. Join me every single Thursday on The Tech Beat, exclusive to Calkind TV. Welcome back to the Morning Outlook Report. In late overnight trade on Wall Street, the Dow Jones rose 0.28%, the S&P 500 was up 1.5%, and the Nasdaq ended 3.34% higher. Stocks paired losses, and the U.S. dollar and oil futures paired gains, as U.S. President Joe Biden vowed steep sanctions against Russia for its U.K. invasion and said that the U.S. was working with all producers to secure global energy supplies. Biden says that U.S. forces will not fight in Ukraine, but that additional forces would be authorized to go to Germany. Sanctions involved Russian banks and technology imports. 
Over in the global markets, the stocks 50 fell 3.6%, the FTSE slipped 3.9%, the DAX declined at 4%, and the CAC ended 3.8% lower. MSCI's gauge of stocks across the globe was less down 1.18% after earlier touching its lowest level since March 2021. All prices inched higher and even touched 105 US dollars a barrel at one point for the first time since 2014 amid the developments in the Ukraine. UTI settled up 0.77% at $92.81 a barrel, but well below its session high of $100.54. Brent was at $99.10, up 2.3% compared with its session high of 10579 Gold prices rose as much as 3% before pairing gains. Spot gold was down 1.1% at $1,887 an ounce after earlier rising as high as $1,974. That's all for our Morning Outlook report here on Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. This is Rachel signing off for now.